What's up, y'all? So it was time to change the upholstery on the seats on the bus, and I'm going to just give y'all a quick dive into how I did it. First things first, you got to rip this old fabric off, and I got it up there by Staples. So it's pretty easy to rip off if I get a little tug. And then I gotta rip this white fabric off. I don't really know what that's called, but it could rip easily, so I kinda really have to tug it. We'll rip it. So then take the pads off. Y'all see this little ghetto. I had it chopped up and screwed and all that stuff. Then it staples all in the chairs because of the fabric. But yeah, so I take the staples out and then get the new cushion, which I only did two inches thick this time. Last time it was like four or five, but I'm gonna just do two. And the cushion wasn't long enough for the bench, so I had to play Tetris and pin some stuff together, but it worked out. Don't look like I know what I'm doing with the measuring tape. <laughs> and don't. <laughs> and I bought some glue to glue it together, but it didn't even work. Luckily I had this spray adhesive that worked perfectly. So after gluing the pieces together, pull this white piece of fabric down, don't know what it's called, and then just staple it, secure the cushion in place before you get the fabric and put the fabric up there. This was kind of like the hardest part because you had to like squeeze the fabric through the little thing, which the foam was already through from the last fabric. So, but I got it through there and it, it looked easy, but it was a little hard. So after you get the foam through, then staple and I was checking to make sure everything was straight. I didn't put that apart in the video, but I had to check, keep looking at the seat, make sure everything was straight because you don't want no wrinkly fabric. And this was how it looked when I was done. So then I got to flipping it, had to put it on his bike and then did the same thing. But this time he had to get a little tug and secure it a little bit. And uh, yeah, staple that joint in place. The last chairs I did, I sewed them together and then just stapled the fabric onto the wood. But this time, I'm just stapling the whole thing up there. And I get to the sides, got to staple the sides up there. But they actually, they look like restaurant seats. I was proud of them. Look at it. This is the bottom part. This is the bottom part. What y'all think? Leave it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, make sure y'all please subscribe and click the notification bell. So then I got to do the top part. And it's the same thing. Rip that fabric off. Take the cushions and everything. The top part was only two inches of cushion. And now I'm replacing it with one inch of cushion. And yeah, just gotta do the same thing. Play Tetris, glue some pieces together, put that white piece back up. I really don't know what that fabric called, but this time I actually had to uh, cut some fabric and then stuff that thing in there. I don't know what that tool is called. It was kind of dangerous, but it, it worked then staple that in there like so and then my phone died y'all my phone died i mean my camera died so this is actually a tiktok video and um it's gonna be over soon in three two um all right maybe not three two one but y'all about to see the end look let me know what y'all think and thank you for watching i'm happy about them i'm gonna paint the bottom of it black too i just ain't did it yet but yeah make sure y'all subscribe like comment see you later